Um, and you were mentioning you've been involved in a lot of like the history of queer activism and queer uh -huh. life in DC. Can you talk a little bit about that history? Uh, yes. Well, I was a teenager when I came here and lived at the Runaway House, which is right up the street. At um, uh, it was at 18th and Riggs, and um, lived in a group foster home, and then. One of the people that lived in one of the other group foster homes, we got together and lived in a house at 17th and Q, which some people may remember was the Boogie Palace. And we had a very diverse group of lesbians, and we were known for our parties, and we had uh, quite, quite good parties, I have to say. And I, it wouldn't happen if it was just me. It took all of us. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yes. Yeah, have you seen DC change over the years in terms of like as a space for like queer people and also just as a space generally? Certainly it's um, economically become rather prohibitive for an awful lot of people. So uh, a lot of communities have been displaced that are rooted in DC and you know should not have been displaced. Yeah, I see that your sign says support BLM DC. Can you talk about like lesbian solidarity with like black communities in DC and how you've experienced that like over the years or, or my, like? My um, family is African American other than me <laughs> yeah. um, currently because uh, uh, other than my sister. Um, and 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 those descendants, and so I'm I'm certainly aware of issues uh, because uh, because of that. Um, 